Hello, my friends, and welcome back. The lighting is a little bit different today because we went to Vegas this past weekend and I took my little light that I've been using to film with me just in case because we didn't know how the hotel lights would be like in the bathroom and we left everything because we shared a suitcase we left everything at Courtney's house so that's where the light that I normally use is so we're just gonna make do with this <laughs> It's not as good, but it's not like super shadowy or anything. So we're gonna roll with it, cause I'm excited. I received this humongous box today. And I'm not waiting to get my light back to open it. So we're doing this. Um, I only have a little bit of concealer and some powder foundation on. Cause I'm gonna try this stuff on for you guys. I'm so excited. This is the Wet n Wild Rebel Rose Limited Edition collection. I did buy the entire 60, 80, whatever it was dollar collection because I'm an insane person and these colors look gorgeous. I'm pretty excited. I hope it's as good as it looks. Cause this box was not cheapo. I mean, it's got like 15 or 16 products in it. So when you divide everything up, it's not terrible. That was part of why I bought it. It was like, well, if I buy as many things as I think I would buy individually, I might as well just get the box. I was hoping it would come sooner than this, but you know, this has already launched. I think it's been out for about maybe a week ish. Um, but I did get to order this early. They sent me like a VIP access email to order the box. So yeah, I'm excited. Um, oh, this is cute. Okay, so let me show you guys this. This is how the box came. There's just a picture and stuff in the top. And then there's some stuff on the top and this is like a little like cover thing. So, uh, I probably shouldn't have put my foundation on yet. I didn't think about that. I forgot what all was in here. Okay, so this is the Photo Focus Rose Toner, which I cannot try because I already put foundation on. I'm going to open it and smell it. Let's see how the spray is in one minute. And the cap came off. Okay, it's got a little bit of like a rosy scent to it, but it is not anything that is gonna be overwhelming, which is good, because I don't like rose scent. Um, it also does not have like a super like alcohol or tonery scent, which is good. This one is the Photo Focus Rose Multi-Use Oil. comes with like a dropper. It's pretty liquidy. This also has about the similar, a same scent, a um, little bit scented, but not anything extravagant. And it just kind of blends out on the skin. Just a nice little hydrating oil. This also probably would be good to remove um, makeup too if you needed to use it for that. This is the Rose Primer Serum. It's a very pretty pink color. I really wish I'd looked in this box before I put foundation on, but I was like, I don't think there's any skincare in there. I think it's all makeup. And I threw on foundation. I like to open things with you guys. Also has a dropper. This is what it looks like dropped onto the skin. Okay, so this is a very serum-y, 
primer. It's going to be more hydrating than anything and not as much like pore filling or mattifying. But it doesn't look like super like where it kind of looks shimmery in the bottle. Unless I need to shake it. Do I need to shake it? It doesn't say. Shake it and see if it's because it does look a little shimmery in the bottle. And when you like put it on your hand. But yeah, it's not coming off like shimmery on my skin. It just looks very hydrating and maybe a little bit glowy, but not shimmery. So don't worry about that if you don't like shimmer. This is the Perfect Pout Jelly Balm. Um, it says it's in the shade Tint of Corruption. I'm not gonna put this on on right now because lip products are last. But I will swatch it. Oh, maybe I will go ahead and put it on. That is crazy looking. Oh, so it changes to just kind of like a pink shade. My lips are so chapped right now, so this is gonna show up really bad in the corners and gather in that spot where they're super chapped. This doesn't really have a lot of a scent to it either. And I like that color. It's just a nice little neutral pink for your more neutral days. It does taste a little weird though, just FYI. Like, I don't even know how to describe that. It tastes weird, but it doesn't smell weird. Ew, I need a drink. I need a beverage. Don't lick it. No. FYI, that tastes really, really bad. Okay. I cannot get this out. Okay, this is the lip scrub. Doesn't say shade or anything like that on it. I do have the lip scrub from the Flights of Fancy collection that they did, I'm pretty sure is where it's from. Um, it's like watermelon or something and I like that one. Okay, this has a little bit of a scent to it, but nothing terrible. And it feels pretty similarly textured to their other one. If you've tried one of their other lip scrubs, it is very rough. Ah, oh, a nice. Is it right there in those corners, man? I just did it with a different one, but you know. And like I said, a little bit of scent, but nothing overwhelming, nothing I wouldn't be able to handle. Not liking rose, so if you do like rose scents, you know. Okay. Oh, wow. This is cute. Okay, let me show you the next little section in here. Okay, it did come with a couple of brushes, so let's pull those out. Maybe. Come out. Be my friend. There we go. Ah. Okay, this is 
the blush brush and it's shaped like a cute little rose oh and it's soft it's really really soft and I like that there's nothing like sticking out at the bottom because it won't be super weird and awkward to put in the dryer after you wash it yay and it is really really soft and then this is the eyeshadow brush that comes with it. Again, shaped like a tinier rose. Nice and soft. I do feel like with this around it for an eyeshadow brush, I'm not sure how that's going to work, but we're gonna try it and see how it goes. Um, let's pull this out first and start putting stuff on the face. This is the cream blush in the shade Rose in Peace. Um, I do believe it's supposed to be color changing depending on the heat of your face. It is not a black blush that I'm aware of. If it is, um, like I like black, but not for my blush. So, but I'm almost certain it's color changing. Almost looks like it has gold glitter in it. But it's not coming off on my finger with gold glitter in it. So that's good. So it looks like this is the shade here. Do also have some on my finger. Looks like it might be a little staining. We shall see. I'm gonna use this brush. Um, I don't know how this brush will go with cream products, but this is the only blush and the only blush brush. So, um, I need this mirror that I've been using as a light. Okay, so I may have put on a little bit too much. Yep, definitely did. But I don't mind that color at all. It's kind of like a mauve type color and it went on really nice with the blush brush and over top of powder. So I can get on board with this. I'm not a huge fan of cream products, but this is not bad, especially if you're the type to do a lot of like natural days where you're not necessarily putting on a lot of foundation and you just want to add some color to your face bam done easy goes really good with the balm that i apparently got all over my face i like that a lot i did way too much on this side but just ignore that for now <laughs> And it feels pretty, like it's not like set down, set down, but it's not like super tacky or anything like that. Um, I just turned off the light on that. All right, I like it. Okay. And then there are three different eyeshadow palettes in here. No highlighters, which makes me really sad, but it's okay. I think there's some shades in here I can use as a highlighter. We're definitely about to do that. Ugh. I'm having problems with this packaging. It's very nicely packaged. Nothing is broken, but it's hard to get out. So the first one is House of Thorns. Looks like it's a like darker kind of like metallic color. I want to say gold, but it's almost too dark for gold. And then a green, a burgundy, and a matte black. And all of these and all the palettes are shaped like little tops of roses which is super cute. This is Bed of Roses, which is a light shimmery pink, a shimmery kind of burgundy, and then a matte burgundy and matte purple. And then this one is Secret Garden Rendezvous, which this almost looks like it might be like a blue or very, very cool tone purple, a burgundy, 
um, a brighter like golden shimmer shade and then almost like a tan with some gold shimmer in it so let's I brought some extra brushes because I figured one eyeshadow brush wasn't gonna get me very far to try a lot of these all out. right and finally after like an hour have them all opened so I think I am going to start with this shade here out of Secret Garden Rendezvous and use that as just like a transition shade. I definitely need to move this closer. Excuse the hair. I'm gonna use my new brush, see how that goes. Try to keep my hair out of the way. Alright, I can't. Mm -mm. I'm a hot mess, guys. <laughs> the gold shimmer is definitely showing up. Ugh, I'm gonna have to move my bangs for y'all to be able to see this, aren't I? ignore those. It's blending really nicely. And I'm getting a little bit of kickback in the pan, but not a lot of like fallout on my face. A little bit, but not anything extravagant. And this brush is working is not my favorite. I probably won't use it a bunch. It's just too short and too close to this very pretty, but very impractical feral. The blush brush is much better than the eyeshadow brush. But it is working. It just, I don't know, feels weird. Okay. Golly, I put so much blush on. Um, and then I think, hmm, what to do, what to do. I'm kind of tempted to do two different looks just to kind of use more of the shades. So I think, I want to see. I didn't swatch these for you guys, did I? Oh, yeah. Oh, I swatched that right on top of oil. Hmm. Oh, yeah. This is definitely going to lean kind of a navy blue. So, in this Secret Garden Rendezvous where I said it looked like it was either going to be cool tone purple or kind of a blue, it looks kind of more of a navy. So that's interesting. And then, let's see here. Let's use the black, because blacks are hard, and see how that comes out. Luxie brush. <laughs> Bless me. All right, so it's not super pigmented right off the bat, but it seems to be pretty blendable and buildable. So you can get a pretty opaque black, but it's not gonna be scary to work with if you don't use a lot of black. Okay, okay, okay. And then I really wanna play with this green. 
So I think I'm gonna use the green out of this palette. This is House of Thorns. I just really wanna see what it looks like. Okay, it's not as bright as I was expecting, so we're gonna have to use another shadow on the inner corner. It is green, it does have some shimmer to it, but it's not as bright on the eyes as it looks in the pan. It's very dark. So this is definitely gonna be a darker palette. And even the gold is like that darker gold. So we're gonna need to take Let's use this brighter gold, more like champagne-y shade. After I wipe off all of my fingers. Oh yeah. And kind of brighten this up a little bit. It's not as opaque as I was hoping, but that definitely brightened that up a little bit and made that a lot better. Okay, and then for the other eye, let's do more of like some berry. So I'm gonna go in a bed of roses and go in to the maroon. Clean off my brush a little. If you're crazy about hygiene, you would be really disappointed about how I just cleaned off like this brush on my pants. <laughs> but I just put them on today, they're new pants. to switch that so you can see there we go. I feel like a pretzel doing this so that I can see and you guys can see kind of because I can't apply shadow with my left hand <laughs> so I have to like crisscross everything. It's fun. This is a really pretty shade and it is applying beautifully. Like, bam, what did that take, like two minutes? And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this darker shade in just like the center. Oops, wrong one. that one a lot. That is nice and shimmery. You guys can't, see. there we go. And then I'm gonna take the really light pink shade out of this same palette.
That's coming off a little bit darker than I expected it to. But I really like the look that I've got in there. Hmm. I don't know if there's one of these that I can really use as a highlighter. Like I was hoping. We're gonna try for this champagne shade and see what that looks like on the face. This is out of the Secret Garden Rendezvous palette. I wish it listed shade names, but it doesn't. I can't see. Okay, yeah, definitely not a highlight. Not unless you are super, super dark. Definitely not for pale girls like me. I was able to blend it out a little bit though. But it's, it's, oh, I did get some fallout that I didn't see until I rubbed it in my face. That's fun. Okay, let's try the pink and see how that goes. But I have a feeling that's gonna be disastrous too. Um, Oh yeah, that's disastrous. <laughs> that's, that's disastrous. Okay, shades are way too dark to be highlights. Unless you like a really dark, really pigmented highlight, just so you know. But as far as like eyeshadows go, like I really like these. These are just first impressions. Wear time is not normally a 12 hour day with wet and wild shadows, but these apply really nicely and I love, love the color scheme. I feel like you can just grab and go with one of these palettes and you know, you might be missing a crease shade depending on whether or not you're willing to put shimmers in your crease um, or whatever, but you could always use your bronzer for that whatever and then just like grab a palette and go and this for Christmas can you imagine for Christmas like this is what this makes me think of for Christmas like red and green and then you've got a gold in here too please and then there are some liquid cat suits that I moved to this so I was setting things down and now it's like crazy lighting on my face right now um, the liquid cat suits. There are four. Um, it looks like there are two mattes and two high shines is what it says. So the mattes, there is Kiss of Death, which is a burgundy. Deviant Damsel, which is a dark burgundy purple. The high shine lipsticks are Bud Romance, which is kind of a lighter like mauve like periwinkle almost. And then Petal Poison, which is a pink. So I'm going to swatch these for you guys. Okay. Okay, so this is Kiss of Death. Oh, it's almost got like almost like a brown tint to it. Um, it almost is like, like a rust or a brick color. It's very pretty, but very dark. 
And then this is Deviant Damsel. Ooh, that's very pretty. Again, very dark, but it's just kind of a nice, very cool toned purple color. And then this is Petal Poison, the more pink shade. And I love the Liquid Catsuit mattes. I've never had anything that said high shine on it, so I don't know if these are supposed to be glosses. Because this is not how their glosses come. So a little bit less pigmented than the other two. Curious to see if this sets it down. The cat suits do take a minute, but it, yeah, it looks like it's probably gonna be more of a gloss formula, which is interesting because normally their glosses come in different packaging and don't say the liquid cat suit on them. And then this is the more mauve toned one, which is Bud Romance. It's a very pretty lavender color. Do not think this is gonna set down, but this is what the color looks like on the face. It's a very pretty kind of muted purple, so it's very wearable. And this formula feels really nice on the lips. Really, really nice. So that is the Bud Romance. here yeah these are definitely not gonna set down because where I've swatched them these have started to set down but these are like really tacky still but they're a very interesting formula they're a little bit thicker than the other wet and wild glosses that I have but they're that same kind of like thick slip to them where they're not sticky, but they're not very slippery where I feel like they're gonna be all over the place really easily, which is really nice. I really, I really like how the formula feels, just having it on for that little bit of time. So let's do the pink one. This is burning the crap out of my lips. Or they're so freaking dry. Okay. So, Petal Poison. So this is a very, just like wearable, your lips a bit better kind of a pink. Again, really nice formula. I like that a lot. And now let's do the dark ones. <laughs> sorry about the in and out lighting, you guys. I know this sucks and I'm sorry, but I couldn't wait. I was so excited. And it's probably gonna be like this weekend before I get all my stuff back. So this is the purple. This is Deviant Damsel. And excuse the crappy application job. But this is the color on the lips. It's very nice, like it's very dark. If you don't like dark colors, you're not gonna like it, but I really like how cool toned it is. And I feel 
feel like for a dark purple, it's very like wearable, more wearable than some. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys or not, but that's how I feel. Last one, this is Kiss of Death. I love the name. Ooh. I don't have to hold on to it. Look at me figuring it out, okay. That is really, really pretty and it almost matches my sweater like exactly. It's almost kind of just like a subtle like brick red. I really, really like that color. It'll go really, really good with the eyeshadows. Especially like the red with the green, that nice like contrast. All right, so. That's everything in the collection, um, as far as I'm aware. Um, like I said, I did order this earlier before the collection actually officially launched, so the box was all that was available. Um, so I'm not sure, I haven't been on to check again to see if there is anything that didn't come in the box, but I don't think that there was that I'm aware of the way they um, talked about the box. So this should be pretty much everything in the collection. I really, really like it really like it it's just first impressions i haven't worn anything all day yet but the eyeshadows went on beautifully it is very much a deeper darker like it's not quite vampy but kind of along those like s clines like it almost with everything being like black roses and like it almost makes me think edgar Allan poe like, if he had a wife and his wife wore makeup, like, this is the kind of collection she would buy. I don't know why it makes me think that, but that's just kind of, like, the vibes it gives me, which I love. So, let me know if you guys have ordered anything from here, if you've already gotten it and tried some things. Please leave your thoughts down below. Um, if you haven't ordered yet, let me know if you are planning on ordering anything, if anything looks interesting to you, if you're, like... Hell no, because this is not a collection for everybody. Just like unicorns are not for everybody. You know, everybody likes stuff that's different. So I just happen to be the crazy person who likes it all. I want to be dark and vampy one day and then cover my face in glitter the next. It's just how I roll. <laughs> but I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Bye.